Good morning, ESM, and happy Mardi Gras! Woo! I'm really excited. Can't wait. Fat Tuesday. Wait, what? I put on a little bit of winter weight, but let's not. Anyway. We'll be learning more about Mardi Gras after news and announcements. Four workers at Lystander Pasta Sauce Plant, Giovanni Food Co., became ill Monday after they were exposed to chemicals. Someone called 911 at 2.12 2 p.m. after two employees said they weren't feeling well after exposure to chemicals at the plant on 60 Road in Lystander. When emergency responders arrived, crews found four very sick workers. The workers complained of chest pains and headaches. Um, Northern Onondaga Volunteer Ambulance transported four people to Syracuse Hospital for treatment. GBAC's Director of Operations, no other information about the patients was immediately available. Ferrari releases a new color car said to be a Syracuse color. The Syracuse vehicle for Ferrari apparently is silver and gold. The luxury car developer's new color option last week to celebrate the 10th anniversary of the Ferrari Cavalcade Road Rally. The color silver Syracuse or Argentina Argentino Syracuse uh, in Italian honors the city of Syracuse, Sicily, where the 2014 event had its final destination. While the mask mandates are being lifted on Wednesday for the ma majority of Onondaga County schools, the Onondaga Nation School and Lafayette District will keep masks mandatory for all students and staff. Superintendent Jeremy Belfield said, for the Onondaga Nation School, the Onondaga Nation is requiring all staff members that work and report to the faculty to be vaccinated. The school is in sovereign Onondaga Nation, meaning that they are able to make decisions that impact only their geographic area. In this case, Nation has decided to keep more rigid COVID-19 precautions in place. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Boys lacrosse sign-ups uh, are today, 3.30 in the large gym. So any boy in 9th through 12th grade interested in playing lacrosse this spring should attend, and new players are welcome. The origins of Mardi Gras, can, Mardi Gras can be traced all the way back to medieval Europe times, but the first American Mardi Gras took place on March 3, 1699, when the two French explorers, uh, the Lemoyne brothers, landed near what is now New Orleans, Louisiana, which they dubbed Point du Mardi Gras after a small celebration. Mardi Gras is celebrated the Tuesday before Ash Wednesday, a Christian holiday, which marks the end of the pre-Lent period. It's named Fat Tuesday after the custom of using and eating rich and fatty foods before Lent when Christians traditionally fast. On Mardi Gras in 1827, a group of students in colorful costumes danced down the streets of New Orleans, imitating the celebrations they'd seen in Paris. Ten years later, the first recorded Mardi Gras parade took place, and it's happened ever since. And what's the weather like there? Well, we got a high of 68 in good old New Orleans. And a low of 49. But Paige, what can we expect here in Syracuse today? Well, I wish it was going to be that hot here. Um, Me too. Today is not going to be nice with some snow showers and clouds. And tomorrow is also going to be very cloudy with some snow showers overnight. Today we'll have a high of 43 degrees and a low of 26 degrees. The actual parade itself is planned by crews, which are often secret societies that spend all year planning the balls and parades. Crews date all the way back to the mid-19th century, when in 1857, the mystic crew of Comus was the first to plan the parade. And one of the oldest known crews to date is the crew of Rex. And the most well-known tradition, the beads, also known as throws, began in the 1920s when some crews began handing out trinkets. The original beads were glass and are sometimes handed out today. Dublin's cups, coins, and moon pies are all popular throws today as well. A uh, cool little tidbit is that by law, all float riders must wear a mask. And it's legal for everyone to wear a mask on Fat Tuesdays. 
and many often wear costumes, masks, or wigs to celebrate. Last but not least, the official and traditional colors purple, gold, and green to honor a visiting Russian Duke Alexei Alexandrovich Romanov. The colors stand for justice, power, and faith. And we'll be right back to close up the show after sports. After beating RIT on Friday, the Syracuse women's ice hockey team would beat Mercyhurst 3-2 in overtime to win their second CHS conference title. Sophomore Sarah Thompson scored the winning goal and sealed an automatic bid into the NCAA tournament. The Syracuse men's basketball lost to North Carolina 88-79 in overtime. Cole Swider led the team in points with 36. The unified boys and girls bowling team have a match today at home against Cato Meridian at 3.30. And I'm Ryan with your sports. Now, like I said before, by law, everyone on a float in New Orleans during the parade has to wear a mask. You're looking pretty fancy. Yeah, it, it makes me look better. But just remember, uh, starting tomorrow, the governor has lifted the mask mandate. Just as a note to people in school, Teachers and students, some will still wear masks for, for health reasons, so it's not a judgment time, but notice that some people will wear masks. You don't have to take your mask off starting tomorrow. Personally, I'll continue to wear my mask, and, uh, you know, everybody just make whatever decision they want for themselves. Yeah, whatever's best for you. And that's all we have for you all today. I hope we were able to enlighten you a bit more on the history and traditions of Mardi Gras. And so from everyone here at The Morning Show, have a great Fat Tuesday and let the good times roll.